All right, so first I'm going to show you how to make this crust. This is a crust that I've used for chicken pot pies, for apple pies, kind of any pie. Basically, the only thing you got to do is you got to tweak it if you want it for like a sweet pie versus a savory. So, if it was sweet, you might put cinnamon in it, you might put artificial sweetener in it, different things like that for the uh, sweetness. If you're doing it for like a chicken pot pie, just do it pretty plain. So basically, if you imagine a pie, right, top crust, bottom crust, you're looking at three quarters of a cup of flour for each, each half of the crust, and then a quarter cup of oil and then water just to make it the desired consistency. So in this case, I'm making a top and a bottom crust, so I need a cup and a half of total flour. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do half a cup of whole wheat flour, half a cup of regular all-purpose flour, and then I'm actually gonna sub out half a cup for a blend of whey and casein. So it'll be higher protein, lower carb. Um, that's typically what I'm going for with the recipes I show. Oops, let me grab this half cup. The oven's getting ready there. So there's the other half cup. Mix those all together. And then my half cup, I'm gonna do half of a uh, extra light olive oil, which doesn't have the strong taste. And then uh, half of uh, canola oil, so a half cup total, a quarter and a quarter-ish each. And then it's basically just add water until you get a crust-like consistency, and I'll show you that as I mix it all together. Typically, they actually advise that you put this stuff in the freezer first to make it an extra cold. It makes it set a little better, but honestly, I found it, it still works just fine if you do it this way. So, that is that. And I'll start mixing that together. So this is just some cold water I poured in that same half cup measuring cup I'm using. And I'm just going to slowly work this in until I get basically kind of like a crumbly consistency. So you can see kind of the consistency we're working with here. It's fairly together, but it's a little bit crumbly. And go ahead and spread this in our pan. I'm going to spray this pan down with non-stick cooking spray. This is a canola variety. No stickage there. Then basically take half of this dough for the crust. And just spread that in there. I'm actually going to spread it right up onto the walls of this, so then that way when I go to put the one on the top, it will just kind of uh, have full closure to the pie all the way around. You can just grab little pieces and kind of work them around, again, up onto those sides. Always trying your best to not let it tear through the bottom as you press it in there. Alright, so our crust is ready to go there. If you want to increase the crunch factor a little bit, or the crispiness, you can actually spray that down with the cooking spray as well. So I'm always trying to minimize dishes. So, got this plate here, this is what I'm going to kind of make my crust to go on the top on. And I'm going to take the remaining crust, dump it out there, and then I'm going to use this bowl to heat up my mixed vegetables. This is a mix of beans, corn, and carrots. And I literally stumbled across this recipe just randomly. Like, had people over for Thanksgiving one time and just randomly made this up. And everyone was like, wow, this is amazing. It's not even that hard to make. So use the same exact bowl. The reason I cook these up first is so I can drain all the water off it so it doesn't make the pie really soggy. So that'll just barely fit in here. I'll throw a little bit of water on top of this just to uh, hurry up the steaming process. This is just gonna go right in the microwave for like five minutes probably. Maybe not even three minutes, something like that. Most people don't seem to know that all it takes is just putting a little water in there and then you can just steam that right in the microwave very easily. I'm actually gonna go with two and a half minutes. Got two cans of Walmart brand <laughs> canned chicken. Drained, super easy, right? No prep involved there. Toss those in. Small can here, again, 
fat free uh, cream and mushroom soup. Go ahead and dump that in. So all it is is the chicken, the cream and mushroom, and the veggies. And that's kind of up to you. If you want a little more of a smooth consistency, you could mix a little olive oil in with this. Obviously, if you're trying to watch calories, you're not going to do that. You can also uh, put some yogurt in. You could put some light mayo in. Um, you can even add extra salt, even though all this stuff already is pretty salty. Those are just things that I found go well in here. And then I'm literally just going to mix these all together and toss them into the pie, put the crust on top, and then just put it in the oven for like, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. It'll be good to go. As you're stirring through, you really want to try and break up those chunks of chicken. Otherwise, it's not going to be quite as pleasant when you're eating it. You really want it almost kind of like shredded, shredded chicken type consistency as you have it through there. And honestly, this corn, peas, carrots, beans mix is a higher calorie mix. Uh, right now, I don't really care. But uh, if you're trying to go with something lower calorie, I've done this before where you put in broccoli instead as the veggies. Or you can even do like half of this and half broccoli. That's one I actually really like. Uh, both turn out great. What I like to do as I go along is actually give it a quick taste and then that way I can decide if I want to add some yogurt, if I want to add some salt, make it a little bit more creamy. Again, as you can tell, I don't really have a hard and fast recipe. I just have my staples and then I tweak it as I go depending on what I'm feeling that day. All right, let's give this a whirl. Um, I think it could have a little more salt to it, but overall I'm pretty content with it. So I'm actually just going to roll this just as, as is. Go ahead and load up this pie. I have a tendency <laughs> to go big and create like way more than this thing fits. This is going to be a stacked, like overflowing style pie. I actually ended up going with four minutes on the veggies. So two and a half minutes wasn't quite enough to, to steam them in the microwave there to the extent that I wanted. But So the idea here, again, most chicken pot pies are like super high in fat, super, like not, to me, not as much protein as you'd like given how much fat and other calories you're having to consume. Like not just not a very friendly ratio. So if you're going through prep or something like that, you're like, crap, it's really not a very, uh, food that you're going to be able to eat very much of without uh, overshooting macros and stuff. So this is just kind of a way to still enjoy something pretty darn similar and tip the macros in your favor. So see that fits pretty nicely. Mm. <laughs> this is always a tricky part. Some of you probably get better ways than me to get this crust you made for the top off and on to the pie. I usually always butcher this a little bit, but you can totally see I'm butchering it right in there. Sometimes, honestly, I just end up saying screw it and <laughs> toss it on top, which is looking like what I'm going to be doing today. Kind of form it on there. Yeah. Definitely botch this one up a little bit, but uh, I like these things to be live and real rather than uh, having everything always perfect. Basically shows you that you can still get pretty much what you're looking for. And this crust honestly is a little bit crumbly. Um, probably could use just a little bit more water. So you're looking at final products here. I made my crust a little too crumbly so it's gonna end up being more like cobbler style. Just crumbles of it all over the top. I mixed up all of my uh, ingredients for the filling and then I sprayed the top of this with cooking spray to help make it a little bit crispier on the top when it comes out. So now this bad boy is going in the oven. You can see I just got that on 375 and I just kind of wing it. Um, I can't remember how long it takes, maybe about 15 minutes or so till that crust is pretty firm and then we're good to go. Chow time. The final countdown. There we go. So I ended up going with about 20 minutes 
I could tell that that was going to be about right. Zoom in on that bad boy. You can see that crust that I crumble on top is getting all nice. Alright, so there you go. Each half of this bad boy, whoa, that's way zoomed. Each half of this guy, I'm going to have to double check the uh, macros, but I would guesstimate probably about 80 grams of protein. So a quarter of that, about 40 grams of protein. You're going to be much lower fat, much lower carb. Compare that to a typical chicken pot pie. And then obviously, uh, I would argue much healthier as well. Just lots, you know, you're making it relatively fresh from scratch. So I'm going to enjoy, honestly, probably a whole half of this right now. And uh, yeah, definitely give this one a whirl. You could do this with a salmon, like you could make it a salmon pie. Just kind of the general principles, right? That crust, creamy mushroom, yogurt, something creamy, bag of kind of a veggies like that, a couple cans of the chicken, a couple cans of canned salmon, um, even take some salmon like what I've grilled up before, put that in. Um, lots of different ways to do it, and they all taste pretty darn good. And I'm going to put this, voila, in the dish I used from before. Again, always conserving dishes. Money. Can't wait to get after this. Alright, time to eat. See ya.